research into one of the precursor artifacts. The Peace of Eden. So tell me about these blighters. In search of an army, Staric gathered up the nastiest of the underworld. Some of the city's gangs tried to prevent it and were slaughtered for their efforts. Now, only Whitechapel's clinkers remain opposed, but they're no match for the blighters. Well, let's shine these clinkers up then, shall we? They're just the sort we're looking for. It's the way. <laughs> to return to Mr. Green. Aye, aye, Captain. You're relentless. That relentlessness will see me become master when we finish this. George would do nothing of the sort. Whatever's left of the Creed would perish under your control. Harsh words, dear sister. I do hope Mr. Green made it back safely. Don't tell me you fancy the bloke already. And what do you suggest we do if our number one source of information turns up dead? Starry can't be that hard to find. I say we turn the carriage round and go find him. This is why you aren't in charge. <laughs> Splendid. We'll need focused aid. Focused aid? <sighs> we take over Staric's gangs, we cripple his control. You're not aiming high enough. Staric has influence in every... I believe I may have an idea of my own. We will need the police to turn a blind eye to activities. My ally in the force, Sergeant Abilene. I've heard he's a master of disguise. Next up. Urchins. 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 Children make for excellent spies. Clara O'Day. Smart as a whip, that one. Finally, you would be wise to remember that Staric never acts alone. There are gang leaders in every borough. You'll meet them soon enough, no doubt. Rexford Gaylock. Known for his ability to vanish before your very eyes. Should we make him vanish for real? I suppose. One moment. Templar targets you might want to look into. Uh, be cautious. It's rough out there. No, don't worry about me, Greeny. I can handle a few thugs. What's the plan then, oh mighty planner?
on with the grand ideas? The gangs, the fights?